Hello everyone and welcome to Stellaris the Machine Age for your new series of placing Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion and boy am I looking forward to this, I've not done a proper Stellaris playthrough in a long time and I've got to give thanks to Manitru Nerd uh, who is a YouTuber I follow quite a lot and he uh, was the first person that ignited my love and passion for this game all those years ago and he's also started a new series, so I thought we could give this a go ourselves. Uh, so we're going for a new game, and we are going to go for the Roman Empire. Slight caveat there though, they're robots. They're robots of mostly aristocratic nature. Hence R-O-M-A-N, and they even look a bit Roman with their kind of cloaks. Uh, because we are aristocratic, we have the aristocratic elite, so we have entrenched nobility and distinguished admiralty. So we have some good admirals coming from the kind of higher echelons of our society. We're militarist, and we're also a fanatic materialist, because what's the best way to be luxurious? Well, it's to have lots of research so we can be happy and have lots of things to uh, kind of be luxurious with. But because of that, we do have a few uh, negatives. We are high maintenance, so robot upkeep is up. We are luxurious, uh, you know, very decadent. We're also bulky. We're a bulky machine. We're going to use a bit more pop housing. But to converse that, we do have adaptive frames, so we get a bunch of different benefits to our uh, jobs over time. We are pretty damn good at uh, research, and we even have a little bit of a boost from our research assistants. We are going to play on an. Uh, we're going to start off an arid world of Roma, hence the Roman Empire. Now, for the settings, we're going to go for galaxy size of huge. Galaxy shape will be uh, elliptical. Elliptical, that's hard to say, goodness me. We will go for as many empires as we can get away with. And we will also go for advanced AI starts, not all of them, 15 to 30, so the vast majority will be a advanced starts. As many fallen empires as possible, two marauder empires. We're going to have no guarantee of habitable worlds at all or 0 0.25, but it's going to be unlikely we'll find any... Um, yeah, it's going to be unlikely that we'll find any. Uh, we will have some pre-FTL and pre-sapience, but pretty much normal. Crisis type will leave us random. We could go for all, or the synthetic queen, which is the one from the machine age. But I want to leave it as random, because I think that would be fun. And we will go for... We're going to whack these down by 25 years each, respectively. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And difficulty, we will go on to Grand Admiral. It's going to be tough. Um, but I want to really change myself. Uh, scaling difficulty, we could have on or off. Uh, I think probably scaling difficulty we'll have on. Um, probably from the mid game. Or we could go for late game. We should mess with the late game start year. We'll go for we'll go for mid game. That's fine. And just everything else looks roughly the roughly okay. We are going to play on Iron Man mode because I do like the chance of some achievements. Let's get going. You know, I don't think I've ever actually fully completed a game of Stellaris. I always get about 250 years in and then kind of call it quits there, but I think this time we're going to try and actually finish one off. We did have a live stream series of Stellaris a little while back, but unfortunately the save file was lost to the ether. Um, but I, So I wanted to start again properly this time, and so we'll have to see how this goes, but I, I love this game. This is probably the fifth most played game I have on Steam. Um, probably one of the big, in terms of grand strategy forex, almost certainly the biggest ones. Uh, with six of six coming in, uh, probably a few spots further down the list. But I, I really do love this game. I love the atmosphere, the music, the art style. So, well, let's get this going. And uh, yes, I suppose I should really talk about our origin. We are the Ark Welders. Years of exploitation have left Roma barren. But the skies above are rich with resources, and with an ambition matched only by our ingenuity, we now seek a livelihood in space. Initial construction of the Arch Furnace was a massive undertaking, and its potential is immense. Upgrading to full capacity is an obvious next step. 
as is the need for the system-wide resource extraction. But all lies beyond our borders, what incredible opportunities await the artful engineer. With the advent of FTL travel, our designs are no longer limited to a single system. The galaxy is our drafting board, and it's time to get to work. Here we go, here is our mega structure, the Arc Furnace. Which I'm not sure I've actually ever used before. Um, so, it uncovers the size of one deposit on every planet, moon and asteroid in the system. And if we upgrade that, uh, it's going to make it better and better and better. Which is interesting, but because we're luxurious, we're going to have issues with consumer goods. Uh, our Minister Defence is also immediately ready to upgrade. Excellent. Uh, we're going to give him... We're giving Champion of the People, that's fine. Because he is already going to be in our council, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now, as for Roma itself, yeah, we're going to struggle with our district sizes here. So we're going to need to move out pretty soon. Uh, we are also struggling for amenities. So we probably want a theatre up, but for that we need to get some more consumer goods down. So that's probably the first thing we want to focus on. Uh, initially, anyway. Uh, there's a little bit of paperwork we've got to do before we actually get going, though. Uh, we'll take research speed, because research speed with administrative AI is always useful. Uh, naval capacity, do we need naval capacity straight away? And these are the ones I'm too thrilled about. We'll take the extra naval capacity just so we've got it done. And we will take the geothermal fracking, I think. Just get some additional minerals up and running in the area, that's fine. Um, so yes, I can build mega structures, but that's going to be problematic. For now, just build me some research. Uh, we do not have a lot of economy, goodness me. This science ship, let's go have a look around. Let's actually see what's around in the world. Um, what we'll also do is actually get a second... We've got a second science ship down straight away. Those are always important. Looks like this area is relatively safe. So I'm going to start surveying down this way here. Because we want to find our natural choke points nearby. That's going to be important for us. That's going to be very, very important indeed. Yeah, we're going to really struggle here in terms of minerals and so forth. At the beginning, our economy is going to be a real struggle. That's fine. Over time, we'll manage. We're making good energy per month. Making really good energy per month. So that's going to have to be something we want to really take advantage of. Um, and once this guy is constructed all he needs to, he can go on and probably get some more minerals. That's a decent... He can come build this mining station here, that's fine. And then possibly over here, because that's also another good system that he can build on. Excellent. Okay, we have a new science ship up and running, but for that we're going to need a new science leader. We also have a problem with our head of research. Uh, as our monthly energy credits go down, as he is embezzling money, how could he? Um, so yes, we'll be a little bit careful. We've got a few negative traits here. We are aristocratic, we do have some problems with negative traits we have to be aware of. But we can make it work. Um, so we're just going to speed up time and let things move along. Uh, we're doing pretty okay in terms of uh, energy actually, and I did see we could clear out the spawning slums. That's going to give us another pop straight away, which is important. I do want to get down the... I, I want to get some more consumer goods down. Um, so I want, I'd love to do a civilian industries, but I also need to work on the happiness of this world, or the amenities of this world especially, I should say. We may well have to come back to that as time goes on. Right, can we now we can now hire a science leader here. This guy's good, but he's expensive. We cannot afford to lose ten alloys per turn or per month even. So for now we will just take probably the youngest scientist. 
yeah, archaeological, archaeological excavation speed, I'm fine with that. And he is going to, I think, head up this way. I will get a third Sunships down when it's possible to do so. Um, okay, so... Planetary alert. Blocker expunged. Situation log adjusted. Okay, we found out who our initial... We found out who the kind of ancient civilization we are, we are nearby to. Um, ancient Civilization on Kerasana 1, the Erastian Concordat. I cannot remember uh, what the benefits of the Erastians are, but it's good to know. they These kind of long lost remnants can be very, very important in the long run. Uh, and first contact protocol, we need to decide. Do we want to be open? Do we want to be cautious? Or do we want to be actively hostile? We'll be open because that gives us more influence when we do first contacts. And influence, influence can be a, a tough thing to get hold of, so that's definitely not a bad thing in the slightest. Would love some more minerals in general, but we do have quite a few energy. So I'm actually going to spend a lot of it just doing that. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to buy myself a Civilian Industries. It's going to knacker our minerals for now, but we'll be able to increase that over time. And I'll probably want to build another city district as well once I have the minerals to do so. Uh, so let's keep working on our mineral production here. Now we do have an arid world here. Uh, we're not particularly suited to arid worlds, but it's better than nothing. Should the need arise. Let's actually have a look at our... Uh, I want to have a look at our edicts. Policies and edicts, there we go. We've got a few edicts available to us. Um, in terms of edicts funds, but in terms of this we don't really have much at all. All we really have at the moment is fortified border. I'm going to go from mixed economy over to civilian economy. Just because I th really need the extra consume. Uh, well, I don't necessarily need the consumer goods because that's going to knock down our alloys, but we are decadent, we're luxurious, we're going to need these in future. That's not necessarily a problem. We are going to need to do something about our economy though, because it's. Apart from my energy, it's pretty low. Anomalous surface. Uh, we will detected. research that now, just because it's. Not going to be too bad. We're going to get a third sign ship out so we can really start researching what's around us very quickly indeed. Okay, um, we'll leave this one for now though because it's a little bit too it's a little bit too difficult for us to do at the moment. Wow, we have so many embezzlers on the council. <laughs> Goodness me. Right, we will give ourselves infinite opportunities with our council here. And I want to go for. I'd love to go for. Try the unknown. Why can't we do that? Oh, we haven't got discoveries unlocked, but I think we're going to have got that just now. Excellent. So we're going to go for discovery. This gives us uh, extra research speed, and in general, is very useful for surveying places quickly in the early stages of the game. So let's go for that, and we're going to. Pick that one straight away. Chart the unknown. It gives us additional survey speed. We're going to need it to get moving quickly. We've got another sun ship built. Let's find another leader. Preferably one who's not embezzling money. Uh, we don't quite have enough unity at the moment. That's fine. We will in time. Uh, also, our head of research is ready to level up. Uh, we'll give him Spock of Genius because that's just going to give us a big old boost of research. Excellent. Uh, we just need a little bit more unity before we can hire a third science person. That's fine, we'll get around to that. We actually have a habitable world over here, an arid world. Oh, this looks good. Mius 3, look at that. 75% habitability and it's a size 23. Uh, it does have a couple of volcanoes and sinkholes, but nothing we can't deal with. Given how small our initial, or kind of how 
tough our initial world is in terms of space, uh, that may well be, well be worth doing. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Um, right, we have our... This is our leader, isn't it? Yes. Uh, we'll go for jobs. We'll go for additional minerals. I don't think that's going to be much better choice. Um, we're not far off being able to get this third sign ship I'm running. We're going to see if we can find someone in the immediate area. It looks like this might be a natural choke point here for us. So we're going to make sure that that's surveyed. We've got another arid world over here. We're very lucky, actually. Uh, we also have an isolated valley. What does that do for us? We're not sure. We'll have to see what that Construction does. Construction complete. Construction complete. Where do you want to go to next? Probably over here. We can build a <laughs> can build another mega structure, but no, let's not do that. For now, we'll just move here and build me a another star base. Uh, this science ship here can now get itself a leader. Um, so you are going to go. Uh, survey here for me and here and then we'll see how things go from there speed up time a little bit and see what happens uh, okay ministers of state is ready uh, yeah we'll go for additional assembly speed that's always useful to get our kind of Empire started. We're doing pretty well now for consumer goods. We can probably switch back anomalous surface uh, in the future. Detection. You're going to have to leave that anomaly be for now. It's a little bit too difficult for you to have a whack at for the time being. But you know, this space here, we're Systems almost certainly going to manage for ourselves. So we can come back to that at a later stage. There's a lot of space here on Mirus Three. That makes me very happy indeed. Oh, we found another mega structure. What's this one? Oh, we found a ruined furnace. Hang on, is that our... Oh, so we have... Home system has the arc furnace that can by and construction around a molten world. So, interesting. So we've got a mega structure here. I just need to understand this a bit. So we have this Arc Furnace Equatorial Band is owned by the Roman Empire. Um, I need to understand how this works a little bit better. So every time I upgrade this, it's going to make the deposits on every planet, moon, asteroid in the system even better. Gotcha. So then I also have an Arc Furnace down here. The remnants of an Arc Furnace. Can this be repaired? We will... Find out, but if we can, if we could, that'd be excellent. I'd be very happy to do so. Um, but I don't know if that's related to our initial kind of origin, or if we've just been incredibly lucky to find that mega structure right there in front of us. It looks to me that's a dead end, so it's going to be here and here are our initial points to try and get to. System survey complete. System survey complete. Uh, Finding not many interesting systems so far, I must be honest. We'll come over here um, and just get the get things started. We've got another arid. Oh my goodness, there's arid worlds everywhere. <laughs> Did we? Hang on. I just want to check that we didn't give ourselves. I don't think we gave ourselves lots of worlds nearby. I think we've just been very lucky indeed. Uh, right, you are a scientist. You can have survey speed up. That's fine. That's fine indeed. That's a size 20. Goodness me, we're going to be doing pretty well here, I think. I just want to make sure that what we're doing is kind of <laughs> as it should be. Um, so let's go to settings. I just want to make sure we're on the right difficulty as well. We will come back to that, I'm sure it's all fine. Uh, so yeah, we need to just try to get to all these relevant choke points as quickly as we can. 
I will just have a new archaeological site. Excellent. Anomalous surface variable detected. You can research that one now. That's not a problem. Do need to work on our unity, though. We're going to be a little bit behind on that. Construction complete. Uh, construction complete. So let's build that mining thing there. It's not particularly good. That's what I um, And we have an event. Too few sheep. Direct two is a peculiar gas giant. Uh, okay, it's got planetary ring. Blast the moon's precise control explosions. Let's add a ring around the planet. Let's take those minerals now. I'm sure nothing will go terribly wrong in the future. Stellaris never has anything that goes wrong. System survey. I, I'm utterly convinced of this matter. But that does give us a nice little boost straight away. Uh, I'm going to take another city district here. And then we'll probably go for a hollow theatre or something similar. Oh, we've made contact. Let's pause and slow down time. Construction complete. Are you an actual civilian ship? You are. You are a civilian ship. That is problematic. So we need to find out who you are pretty quickly and see if you're friendly if you're not. You need to come over here as soon as you can. Uh, because we need to block off these systems as much as we can anyway for our own benefit system survey complete you're completed let's get you surveying up here because this will be our other natural choke point we may well get another construction ship in the future let's go back to uh, edicts for a second no that's the wrong one Oh, we have found the Stagnant Ascendancy. So this is one of the Fallen Empires. Uh, Roman, how delightful. We haven't expected to encounter you for a few centuries yet. Personally, I thought you'd drop yourselves out long before leaving your gravity well. I'm glad to be proven wrong. These guys are fanatic xenophiles. Xenophiles, even. So these guys are going to be generally very happy with us. They won't really care that much overall, but... Having said, where are they? They're over here. So that suggests to me there's probably one there's going to be one alien species between us and them in all likelihood. We'll have to see. But I want to try and control as much of this space as possible. I imagine they're going to be yeah, they're surveying as the same time as we are. As long as we hold direct we'll be okay. We just need a few more minerals. We've got 3,000 banked income, or uh, energy I should say. So I'm actually just going to buy some, just so we have some ready to go, I think that's fine. Because uh, I want to be moving forwards as quickly as possible here really. Nostia also seems like a pretty good system for minerals. Okay, good. Let's also work out anything else. Do we want a colony ship and we can get one down on... There's no reason for us not to get one down on Mia straight away, so we'll colonise this. Um, and this will be... Um, this can be... Do we want to call it Mia's Prime? Let's call this... Construction complete. Hang on. Um, let's pause that for a second, we need to work out what to call this place. Uh, let us call this... Beta Prime. Yeah, we'll, we'll go for... I was about to say we'll go for the Greek alphabet, that doesn't really work. No, that's fine, we'll go for... We'll go for Mias Prime, that's, that's okay. Mias Prime, let's get that. Uh, sorted and colonised. This construction ship can work on these bits here. Excellent. We'll put to get a second construction ship out in the future. There's a good amount of trade here in the Minchir system. That's interesting to know. Trade is always useful. We will eventually get some food in case we ever um, decide to have any organics in our empire. We don't know if that will be the case, but it's definitely worth checking. There's a lot of different systems up here, but I'm more concerned about what's going on over here. 
because I'd love to steal as much, depending on who these people are, I'd love to steal as much space as possible from them. I'll have to see. Um, but I was doing something, wasn't I? I was looking for... Uh, policies and edicts, there we go. Right, um, first of all, map the stars. We've got, uh, that. We can also fortify the border. But we're not really doing much with our star base upgrade speed, that's not necessarily relevant. At 2011 we can change the economic policy again. And we will very much do the Habitable World Survey, because we just get a bunch of society Situation research, I think. Adjusted. System survey complete. Uh, so that's definitely good. We're getting some good systems, definitely. But this is, this is an extensive bit of the world. I might actually bring this ship once it's done. Okay, you're done over there actually. I'm just going to send you guys around to survey this part of the world. And you guys can survey up here. And we'll see if we can lock down some of that planet or some of that airspace from other civilizations. Because this bit is all relatively secure. I don't think we need to worry about that as much. I will get myself a second construction ship out of running though, that would be useful. Uh, be very important. Okay, first contact event pending. Keep going. We don't know yet if they are friendly. I'm sure we'll find out soon. City district is on its way. We are really struggling for system survey. Uh, kind of space on Romulus here, but that's to be expected. You guys move down here. Let's see if we can lock down Unari in time. Uh, let's also go for survey speed up. That's very important. Anything else up here? No, but there's a lot of different branches off to, to, to kind of go off in different directions. It's going to be tough to hold all that. One of our scientists is upgraded. Let's go for... You're not, you're, you're not a planetary governor, so none of these particularly matter. I uh, tell you, UNT, we might well need that in the future. How are we doing now for abilities? Still not ideal, so Hapless is going to drop. So we will go for a. We will go for a Hollow Theatre. It's important that we keep happiness in our capital, otherwise, that would be very problematic. Let's also have a look at our fleet manager. Go over to our ship designer. Uh, turn off one auto-generated ships, because I don't like them being auto-generated. And get rid of nuclear missiles, because they are also terrible. Because uh, they can be they can be shot down with point defence, and that's not worthwhile for us. Uh, we found another we found a beautiful bubble. Excellent, we'll come back for that later. We will definitely need to get our other construction ship up here. Complete. Um to get things sorted. Ship augmentations completed. No, don't. Okay, so you guys, you guys move here, sorry, and build, get that built. You guys move here, but we need more influence before we're able to do that. Gotcha. But we want to be able to beat these guys. No. Oh, we just built it in time. Look at this. That's uh, that's definitely a ship coming in here to build. But we're going to get there first. I think we're going to get there first anyway. Uh, ancient survey marker, that's just some additional minerals. We have just beaten them to this system. Oh boy, that was close. I think, we've, I think we'll get it up. They, they've already got up here. So you come survey here. There's no point in you surveying that system. I'm just glad we got Unaria, to be honest. Construction complete. That was important that we got Unaria. Ha! Beat you. <laughs> Whoever you are. Oh, you're there as well. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. Right, okay. This science ship, you can now take over this job. That's fine. This other science ship can go back to doing what it was doing before, because they're going to lock down the majority of that space, but I'd love to be able to take Nitris if I can. That Nitris will be important for us to grab. I'm going to go survey this mega structure. I think that'll be important. Whatever this system is, and then we can start 
clearing up some of these other systems and maybe some of these anomalies as well. Oh, we've got a leader ready to level up. This is our head of research, which is important. Uh, let's go for archaeological anomaly discovery chance. Anomalies can be very powerful indeed in the right hands. I really hope these Zionians are friendly by the way because they are moving quickly. Considerably quicker than we are to be honest. <laughs> we, Technological we've, we've only got so much influence to work with. Uh, let's go for basic combat roles. We're going to need some extra defense. Um, in Unaria, we're going to have to get you upgraded because you're going to be our you're going to be looking after our kind of western flank there uh, so yeah uh, we need more we need more alloys we're going to struggle for alloys currently um, oh should I do that or should I wait I'm just going to get you to Stop what you're doing because that doesn't matter necessarily as much. Nitris, I was about to say it's going to matter, it doesn't because they've already got there. Fine, um, we don't need to worry about that anymore. Then, systems um, complete. We've also got the first colony going. You guys go up here, man. They were moving quickly, they must be a pretty advanced empire. Hopefully we can expand more in this direction then. Uh, have a go at some of these systems. See how that goes. We definitely need more influence in general though, but that does mean you can now build in, in Suya without any issues. That's unfortunate. I would have liked to take Nitris, but I'm just glad we managed to hold them at Unaria. I really just hope they're going to be friends, because if they are, this is going to be a problem. Oh, we found someone else who's hostile. We found the Tor aliens. That's a Void Cloud, no wonder. Right, we're definitely not going to go in there, but we will set an Envoy. Uh, just to get that started. Let's hope our scientist survives. I think he should. For now, though, we'll make this system unable for people to travel in. Uh, let's actually survey down this way, because we might be able to hold on the choice point over there. That might work better. I am intrigued by who these Zionians are, though. Uh, yeah, we'll have to see how this first contact goes. Construction complete. Construction complete. Excellent. Uh, we'll take those. Take the additional energy there. This is an okay, if not particularly exciting world for us to land on. How's this going? Difficulty is seven. Okay, still be a little while off. Hopefully, if we need to, the Selimi forerunners here might help us give us a hand. If it's needed, we'll have to see. We do now have plenty of amenities going forward. Excellent. Uh, we could make one agricultural district to get some food, but I feel like we could probably do some more useful things. We'll probably build ourselves a industrial district. That does, however, knock down our housing quite considerably in general. Complete. I'll have to see. Uh, are you guys move up to Nostia, please. Who are these Zionians? I'm very concerned in general as to who they are. Uh, are you going to... Okay, you're now going to go off these, this ruined dark furnace. Excellent. I'm intrigued to see what this will yield for us, if anything. Okay, you're going to start researching this one now. Uh, that is a very difficult anomaly. What is that? Is that out of our reach? No, that's in our lands. That's a level 10 anomaly. You're going to be there for a while. Uh, no, you're going to come back to that one. That's fine. Uh, you build me some research stations. I think you're already doing so. That's fine. How's our starbase going in that part of the world, by the way? Good, it's up. Let's get some 
Gun battery is down. And let's go for a commune. We'll go for a disruption field generator. As that knocks down some of their shield hit points if needed. They might be friendly. They might be friendly. We might need we might be roaring over nothing. But just in case, we're gonna we're gonna just kind of look after ourselves a little bit. Oh, there's lots of our deposit sites everywhere. Oh, that's very interesting. I don't know how far the our deposit sites go. It's very interesting. Probably quite a few around, actually. Very interesting. Okay, you can't do much more in this part of the world, so let's get you moving over towards this very large anomaly. Uh, we'll just wait for some more influence to come in. We want, we want to try at least not uh, lock out Durekus for ourselves. Anomalous surface uh, You detected. can research that one, that's nice and simple. Uh, and we'll keep going. Do we want an industrial district here? It's gonna I mean we don't have much more housing. And we're gonna need we will need more housing, so we're gonna hold off for now. Uh, we can of course upgrade our things as well. I'm actually, I'm actually going to build a second System city service. district there, just to get the housing down ASAP. Uh, let's get you... oh hang on, there's lots happening. Let's get you... Um, you can come over here and survey these systems. Actually you come up here and survey these systems. Because you're not you're not really needed at the other place in our kind of internally in our empire at the moment. One sun ship should be able to do that because we've been very much cut off cut off on that western side of the empire. Uh, we just need more influence, really. And for that, we need factions. I believe. No, we need rivals. We need a large uh, navy size. Yeah. Political clout, that's kind of what it's about. Who are these guys? I'm trying to work out from their ship design. They've got an upgraded starbase, no surprise there. They've just got a planet here in Gonji. Ooh, they are putting down a lot of starbases. That's a little concerning, this could be a little bit of a tough start. And we are so slow on the Unity generation. Alright, let's get you, you are our leader. I suppose you've got anything to do with Unity, you don't. Uh, we'll take Adoptionist. Oh, that's only for you. No, we'll take Stability with Principled. Um, let's also work out that... Okay, we've got Geothermal Fracking, so let's some additional minerals. Let's go for improved Corvette hulls, because over time that will prove pretty big. Well, that's, a very, that's a very long... Um, very long time to generate that, but we'll do that anyway, that's fine. Uh, first contact. They are hostile. Excellent. Are these killbot... No, this is the... Um, was that the Tauradians, or was that the Zionians? No, that was the Zionians. Oh god. Oh god, oh god. Uh, right. That's really concerning, actually. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to do something here. Yeah, I'm really not sure what we're going to be able to do, but whack up the fleet here. Let's go to our fleet manager. Get as many ships as possible. We can have up to 30. Uh, we're not going to be able to reinforce anywhere near as much as that. We can get two down. And get yourselves over there. Because <laughs> you're going to be needed. Not that you're going to be able to do much. Against these Zionians, I would imagine. I mean, we're up to a thousand. The problem is, if they are already a higher level than us, if they're the same technological size as us, we might be okay. If they are anything more than that, that could be a real problem. So yeah, still in vain. We'll send an envoy to try calm them down. I'm not overly convinced it's going to work, to be honest with you. Uh, let's get some more minerals. Goodness me, they're expensive. But we need to keep expanding, we need to keep moving here. 
Right. If we can load down this system, that gives us a few more systems like this one here, these ones over here. And there's only one spot down there. This might even be a dead end. So we want, we really want to try lock down these systems for sure. This one I'm less this one I'm not sure we'll be able to get there in time, I'll we'll have to see. System survey complete. Okay. Uh, the tour aliens we're not doing particularly well with either. Okay. Um Anomalous surface. Right, research that anomaly, detected. that's fine, that's nice and simple. Construction hmm. complete. You build as many mining stations as you can up there. Uh, build this one actually because that one's nice and profitable for us. You just head back to home, please. Please don't be a fleet. Don't, I don't mind if they just want to sit there, but they're gonna they're gonna come in for us eventually, I imagine. And I imagine. Oh, hang on, what's, what's happening here? Caught in the eye. The last signal received from the Marinus was not much more than garbled static. Uh, so, scanning frequencies, sucking into the gas giant appears dormant. Where is this? Is this important to us? Uh, pause. So what do we need to do here? We need two scientists, my word. That was our head of research as well, that's a problem. That's going to slow things down. Um, that feels like fundamentally a bad idea, but we will give it a go. We've got this as a sign ship here. Right, you're just gonna. We're gonna have to see if this is any good. I'm, I'm hoping it'll be worthwhile to do this. It could well backfire on us, we'll have to see. Construction complete. I'm still really concerned about these Zy aliens. Construction complete. We'll have to see how things go. Okay. You guys should be on their way soon. This construction ship can now probably build the other things. You just need one month to go by, then we can build them both. Which will give us additional planetary surface settlement established. Okay, we've also got our new colony down, excellent. Right. These islands are gonna absolutely wreck the floor with us, I'd imagine. Hi there. Greetings, Roman. As you no doubt know, we are dedicated to the study and conservation of all forms of life in the galaxy. We study your species and determine the Roman Empire is unable to last more than a few centuries at best, given who's next to us. I'm sure that's the case. You will take a robot. You're not going to be very... I mean, you will be pleased to make sure us favour in the future. They're not going to be... Uh, you know, our local population will not be very happy indeed, but I think it'll be worth it because we might well need their support and assistance in future. Uh, very much so, in fact. Okay, what is open from these forerunners? Excellent. They're patronising, but they may well offer us something well worthwhile, we'll have to see. Right, we need to get both these sun ships here to come to the ISS Marinus. And then we can research it. Let's see how this goes. You guys here yet? You're not quite here yet. Once you guys are here, I want to see what's happened and whether we need to get another science vessel here. So go to situation log, right, research it. You need to see what's happened here. Mm 
I'm concerned that something might bad come out of Pash. <laughs> we'll have to see. This construction ship here, there's not much they can do there at the moment. We are really low on alloys, my goodness me. Uh, how much do we need for an alloy foundry? 300 minerals, we can buy that pretty much straight away. Uh, so let's do that, and we're going to get an alloy foundry down because we are too low on alloys to really stand a chance here of doing anything useful. We've got plenty of housing for now on Roma, so that will do for the time being. Uh, right, Minister of State, you're ready to be leveled up again. Uh, we're, not, we're probably not going to be doing much spycraft, so go for principle, we'll keep the stability going. It's going to be important. You guys will want to get probably a monument down. That's going to be important as well. Uh, in fact, we could probably do that now. There we go. Get the monument down. We need some additional uh, construction. We definitely complete. need some additional unity. We're going to fall behind on that. That's going to be problematic, I think. How's this um, situation log going? Finishes in a month. You guys move to here, because this looks like a good area, as long as Pash doesn't turn out to be a real problem for us, we'll have to see. Special project. Complete. Okay, so... Once the worker scientists finally managed to alternate ISS Mariner shields in a way that Pash 6 Tempest released its grip on the ruined ship. Okay, so no one seems to remember their time trapped inside the storm. Gets a bunch of physics research and some additional things there. Excellent. Right. Okay, you are still going to be our best leader for the science gig. So let's go back to our government. And we're going to change this back. And you do have another leveling up skill, which is great. But I'm still going to go back to Appia for the time being. It's going to knock down our credits slightly, but that's fine. But right, you... Okay, pause for a second. You're going to carry on surveying around here, finding out what's going on in this part of the world. Isis Marinus, you're going to now come back and carry on your job that you were doing before. I mean, you weren't doing before. The Commonwealth of Gonji. Hi there. You are xenophobic evangelizing zealots, and we are materialist. I see the problem. <laughs> This is mentioned in the Commonwealth of Gonji. Upon discovering that your civilization consists of mechanical beings simulating life in a manner that belittles our creative efforts, we make this transmission with great regret. As your creative, as your existence holds no prospects for meaningful interaction, we shall divide our attention towards other nations in search of souls seeking enlightenment. We do not care for your frivolous morality. Um, we're never going to be friends with them, are they? Because they're, they're xenophobic spiritualist hydra people uh so i don't want to give them like negative opinions but we're going to just kind of tell them to bugger off as politely as possible um we are going to they're hostile they're isolationist i'm hoping they can if we just leave them alone they'll be okay we're never going to be friends with them do I build a spy network? Sure. What's the worst that can happen if I build a spy network there? Um, right. Uh, we are also going to close our borders with them because this is just not going to work. I need to know their fleet power, their tech, all such things because they are already amassing a fleet. That being said, it looks like they're mostly down here, not necessarily... Oh, if we beat them to... If we beat them to Sada, Sadal Bari, we might have got away with it. But we're gonna, it's going to be tough to break through here, I think, now. That's going to be a problem. Fine. We did all we could there. Commonwealth of Gondry. Let's see how we do against them. We definitely need some more alloys there going forward. I'm really hoping, by the way, you, this Fallen Empire is going to help us out. Uh, but we do also have some factions now, which will give us some additional unity, because we are struggling. Goodness me. 
but that's fine. Politics will give us at least something. Strength through conquest. This is going to be a militarist ethics, yep. Okay, um, let's pause this for a second. Uh, you guys are researching that. We've got naval capacity up. Ooh, zero linguistics is really nice. But now need to be incredibly powerful, so we'll take that. Void clouds gives us a bit of influence. That's fine. So you guys can uh, can start doing some good work here. Uh, go to the market. I'm going to, have to buy some more alloys. Build this outpost, and then probably build another outpost there, uh, which we'll be able to do soon. That's fine. You can actually you can build this starbase here. That's fine. I am concerned about this Commonwealth of Gonji and what this represents for us in general. If they do fight us, I'm hoping we can. Um, I'm hoping we can just go through like a really basic war where we don't actually lose too much. Yeah, but it's really bad to start next to some spiritualist zealots who are xenophobic. That's a really, really bad start for a materialist robotic faction. <laughs> System survey complete. Uh, Right. Bunkerbot. We have traced the unusual electrical magnetic radiation emanating from Golba 4 to a secret subterranean bunker hiding a mega computer. That sounds fun. Um, I don't necessarily need the upfront strategic resources. Uh, uh, we'll boost our own research. We need to try out tech these people nearby to us in a hurry. Shaky start, most definitely. Definitely a shaky start indeed. I don't know if there's anyone down here, but there's a lot of space we might complete. a lot of space we might be able to hold for ourselves if we're lucky. Another faction has been started, excellent. More factions means more unity. And a lot more people are going to be proving and part of the technological ones. So that's gonna give us more unity than we had before, excellent. Means we can keep working on discovery because we are behind on that for sure. Um, are you guys actually working as specialists here? Can I get you to... I want to make that a priority really. Uh, okay, we need some more people assembled. Uh, let's go for increasing our research station output, that's fine. We knew we were going to struggle with Unity a bit at this stage, and possibly going forward. Um, we definitely need to work on our economy. We're doing well. Complete. We're doing pretty well in terms of consumer goods, which is useful. We just need a little bit more minerals here. Uh, we just need six more. That's unfortunate. Uh, just buy some more. We've got plenty of energy coming at the moment, so we need to make use of that. Right. Mm. Uh, we can't research that for now, it's too strong. I'm concerned about these guys here. And System I think we are now having some benefits with alloys, which is good. We're still only making, what, eight? <laughs> eight a turn, it's hardly spectacular. Why are you so... One of these guys is incredibly unhappy. Um, that's interesting. We have these roboticists, that gives us... Ah, so some of these alloys are used to make... Minerals, gotcha. Uh, let's build an industrial district here once we have the relevant minerals, which we don't. But I'm hoping that this land up here will prove worthwhile for us. Minister of Defence, you're going to be important. Let's go for Admiral because that gives you ship fire rate, which is inherently important. 
Um, and we'll have a south in future. Yeah, we just need to lock down our systems now. We need to just really boost up our income. But I want to project some strength. Well, I say strength. I want to project having some force here. Complete. Just to have any chance of kind of relative survival. Um, right, you come up here. We'll get you a few more System things for you complete. soon. Uh, we'll buy some more of this because we want to lock down Duracus. Duracus, Duracus. And you are going to travel down the spine over on the outside here. See if we can get this area locked down, or at least see if anyone else is down here to see if we need to rush in this direction. We shall have to see. Uh, we've also been in transit, that's okay. You guys, do I return to base or do I leave you here? Because you're. You'll be eating income, but not a huge amount in the grand scheme of things at the moment. Construction complete. Rivalry from the Commerce of Ganji, so we will declare them a rival as well, because that will just give us more influence. Um, Intel is falling. Okay. I just I want to just know about them really. That's all I really care about. It seems it's still it's still going up. It seems that's fine. Yeah, it's still progressing in the right direction, albeit slowly. Um, we'll have to see how that goes. Right, you, what can you do? We don't have much influence going at the moment. Um, I mean, now that we declared them rival, that gives us another point five. It's hardly spectacular, but it's better than nothing. Um, we've run out of space here on our initial system. Uh, Construction not complete. really any point us unlocking these industrial wastelands at the moment. But we will indeed build some mining structures here. Uh, and we will spend a short term energy to actually unlock this stuff now. System you just return to base. The science ship. Now that you've done. Okay, we've got plenty of science ships doing stuff outside the Empire. Let's focus on stuff inside the Empire. Research some anomalies for me. Kind of these... I say I want to say these kind of less crazy ones. I'll give you something to do for the time being. Excellent. System survey complete. System survey complete. Wonderful. Do we try to hit another world here? We've got Nostia. Nostia wouldn't be a bad place for us to colonise. Not that we have enough um, alloys for it, but I think we need to just increase our economy and that would be one way to do so. So once we get 200 alloys, that will probably be my next idea would be to go and claim Nostia Prime. Uh, and see how that goes. I'm intrigued to see if anyone's down this kind of branch of the edge. Anomalous surface variable. And detected. presumably there'll be another empire up here. That is going to be our point that we need to try hold. So I don't think there's anyone else down here. So once you're done researching that anomaly, finish off the rest of that system and then push up there. Because if we can hold this system here, we hold a lot of space for ourselves. Which would be very, very useful indeed. Um, and that will be important. Let's just see what happens here with this system survey. Also with this anomaly. Okay, survey speed for 10 years. Excellent. Right, survey that system. And then you're going to push up here and here to this choke point and see if anyone is up here. Because this would be a lot of... Uh, so be a lot of Council space for us to hold, which would be good. Chart the unknown, excellent. And we're going to go for expanding the council. It gives us another leader slot. They can be very, very powerful in time. We've also had a new archaeological dig site, excellent. We will come back to that later on. Right now we're not really focusing on the archaeological dig sites. Okay, they've got about a thousand here at the moment. 
that suggests to me that they're not all too far ahead of us at the time being anyway let's also get down that um, colony ship for Neos Prime, Nostia Prime even, that's fine I'm not very good with naming most planets if there's like a special thing about that planet I will name them properly most of them will just be Neos Prime, Nostia Prime or possibly even just Mining World 01 depending if it's worth anything of use right Anomalous surface variable detected. At some point, we're going to want to upgrade this uh, air furnace because that's going to give us a big boost. But it is going to cost us a lot of money and unity things that we do not really have at the moment. Yeah, let's see how that goes. I mean, having the extra minerals will be very, very useful indeed, I'm sure. I'm just intrigued to see what's going to be up there, but I tell you what, I think we will leave things there for the first part of Solaris. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your new series, alongside Stronghold, which continues at a slightly slower pace. And we've got an interesting start. Uh, we seem to be relatively okay up the top, doesn't seem to be too many people here. The Commonwealth of Gonji, they're a problem, and we're going to have to deal with them one way or another. So... I hope you're looking forward to that in the future, although hopefully we won't go to combat straight away, but I'm sure it will all come to a head eventually, kind of east versus west and mind, ver mind versus matter. Uh, we shall have to see how things go. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.